buddy. What's up, dude? Not too much, man. You remember from last time, we started work on that dash and uh, I couldn't wait for you. I, I, had to, I had to keep things moving. It's all good, man. Let's see. Check it out, bro. Just as a recap, we'll have our kill switch right here. So flip this up so that the engine will start. This is gonna be like an accessory power, which I'm gonna to run to a relay. That's gonna then turn on all of the accessory power to my various other switches. Light switch, you can see we've got a three position switch. Middle is off, up is our high beams, down there is our low beams. And then right here, this little guy is gonna independently control the orange ring that's around our headlights, which is gonna look really, really cool. And then this little guy, I put in here just to fill the space, but you know, we'll probably find a use for it at some point. For now, it's just gonna be sort of an empty switch. Got our battery gauge here, and then of course, push to start on this one. So that's gonna be really, really cool. Sick. Yeah, man, so I'm excited. Got our light bar on last time, got our lights in. Only other thing I did since you've been here last was I threw in a rear view mirror as well. If this holds up to the rigors of bouncing around off-road, I'll probably switch Big Bob to something very similar to this. So you can see the haters? Yeah, in our rear view mirror, of course. So yeah, man, we're looking really good. I've been excited to get the electrical system on this going. I've been sick of getting out to start it. So the next big thing is with all these fun accessories, we're gonna need to make more electricity. So a lot of people have been asking for a video on how to get better charging out of the stock 420. So we're making about four amps on Big Bob's cart with that secondary coil and it's just not enough. So instead, I picked this up on eBay for half the price of what it would have cost me to get 10 amp Honda coils. I got this bad boy and this is gonna be a 20 amp alternator that we're gonna run off of a pulley that I already have installed on the 420 behind our drive pulley. And it's working as our spacer right now. So today, all we gotta do is try and make a bracket to mount this thing up and in back here. So we're gonna have to find a place to nestle it in. It's gonna be really tight. Right here is the other side of that pulley. And then this guy is gonna have to get mounted down in here somewhere, but probably right about here. So we'll pull the exhaust off, drop the back end down, jack this thing up, and see what we can make happen. All right. That's gonna be a big upgrade. Dude, this is gonna be literally perfect. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, what's up, buddy? What's going on, dude? Not too much. You working on episode 22 right now? Oh, I am. <laughs> uh, what were you saying? <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna have to pump the brakes real quick. What's up? It might be easier if I just show you. So you remember putting in the alternator last time, right? But what I wasn't taking into account is the direction this belt is going to be spinning the alternator is going to be actually really important. And the way we have it set up, it's spinning the wrong way and we're not making any power. Wait, so it's... it's backwards? Pretty much. It's exactly backwards. The other thing is... We spent so much time on our little pivoting, our little pivoting slot down here so that we could adjust this. But the problem is I've got one half of the adjustment attached to the engine and the other half of the adjustment is attached down here to the swing arm. And so by doing that, I have adjustment of our alternator, but I lose the ability to adjust our chain tension, which is a trade-off I am not willing to make. So 
figured I'd call you before we showed everybody how great our new charging system is and uh, let them know we got some tweaking to do, but we'll get it there. I'll have it ready for you by next video. All right, buddy boy. I'll see you on the other side. I'm gonna weld the bracket that comes off of this. Weld right to the actual uh, Go Power Sports 40 series plate. Make a little tab down here. Maybe with a little bit of adjustability so we can tension the belt. We are running really close to the chain, but it's fine. And we may go to a smaller size sprocket eventually anyways, but that gives us enough room off the sprocket. Probably get some angle steel in here. Make myself a nice little bracket. This is all gonna be pretty well hidden, so I don't care about it being crazy pretty. Make another little bracket down here. Maybe with a little bit of adjustability so we can tension this thing. And we're gonna be in good shape. Let's get to it. Oh yeah, dude. Just like from the factory. Pretty good. It's not pretty yet, but we've got our first bracket here all kind of tacked into place. And I'm thinking what we could do is we can either just make a hard mount that's just got a little hole in it and call it a day right there. Or, and what I'm kind of leaning towards, is I kind of want to make this adjustable so that we can relax it to get the make disassembly easier, but also have a little bit of tension in the other way so if this belt ever loosens up on us, we'll be able to just loosen this up, slide the alternator over, tighten her back down, just like you see in a lot of other vehicles. 
So I think we're gonna do that. I could just cut a straight slot, but because we're pivoting, what I can do is with my calipers, I'm gonna measure from the center of this bolt to the center of this bolt, and we'll basically draw out an arc. We'll give it probably a two inch channel, maybe drill a couple holes and then connect it all with the, uh, the cutoff wheel. So it's gonna be a little bit of extra work, but I think it'll be worth it if it means I don't have to cut this thing up later. Take a look. We're in now. There's a little more welding to do to get it to be really, really on there. But we're to the point now where I think we should fire this thing up, see if it tears itself apart. What do you say? Sounds like a plan, buddy. Okay, let's do that. Oh, we're straight piped too, I forgot. <laughs> Woo! 
That's sick. I'm glad we took the extra couple minutes to make that slotted hole for the bottom. That's gonna be huge. I think I'm just gonna leave it apart because next stuff we're waiting on is battery, which should be here this week. We've got electrical stuff to do up front, back here, run a lot of wires. So I think I'll just leave it apart and uh, call that one an episode, huh? But that light just turned on. Well, if y'all are digging this build as much as we are, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit those notifications. And check us out on Facebook now. We've got a Facebook for Tyrannus Customs. We're also on Instagram at Tyrannus Customs. And we also have a TikTok not many people know about. We'll put all those on screen, right Trey? You got that? Of course. Here? Uh, a little lower? Uh, no, not that low. Here? There we go. Okay. Can you put something over here too? Uh, sure, what do you want over there? I don't know, I'll leave it up to you. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs>